Continental. And on paper, the design looked good. Uh, but in reality, once the ride was turned on, it was not fit for a safe ride by the average person in public. One of those rides was the man in the ball in the ball. The man in the ball in the ball was this giant ball that we had with, a, with ball bearings inside it with another ball. And you would open up two doors and get in the ball to go down the mountain. And what he did is the guy built it with PVC pipe all the way down the mountain. I guess it's a great idea. You can see how someone would think that'd be a lot of fun. And I think it might work and be relatively safe. It turned out you know, there, were, there were limitations to it. It's a crazy concept. I mean, it's so big and so heavy and so unwieldy that there's no way it's going to stay in any kind of track. The day that we were going to put a live man in it, it got really hot. And he didn't realize the PVC expanded. So when we put the live man in the ball and tested it to go down the mountain, the ride just fell apart, and the guy ended up going down the ski slope right over 94 into the swamp down below. It was unbelievable. Another prototype water slide was inspired by zero-gravity airplanes. Gene's vision, riders would actually take flight as they plummeted downhill. We built this, and we tested several versions of it, and we started sending employees off of it, and it was working perfect. But unfortunately, after dozens of successful test flights, one went horribly wrong. This one kid went down, and I don't know how he did it, but he got himself going way faster than anybody else had. He went way high in the air and completely missed the landing. He had to be backboarded off of the ride. Um, he, he's gone on to lead a normal life, but he was hurt that day. And, and that was the end of that ride. While some rides never